Hey guys, what is up? You know my name, I'm Attorney, and I'm be showing you two headphones by Skull Candy that I personally think you should never purchase in your life. This is the Skull Skull Candy Hesh 2.0. Not much of a Hesh anymore. I kind of threw it off my balcony. And this is the Skull Candy Low Rider, probably the cheapest, most oh, disgusting little headphones ever. And I had the original cords ripped out. You know, I did one by anger and another one was an accident. And the Hesh's phone cups, they just rip right off. So cosmetically, they're just a mess. Even though the Hesh headband was very comfortable, the cups didn't give you that perfect feel. It gave you a very lousy feel. And it just didn't give you that perfect feel that most people would ask for over the edge. And what's kind of funny is these ear cups, it's probably the most valuable Skull Candy ear cup out there because this is originally autographed by uh, Michael Jackson's original guitarist. I forgot her name. But yeah, she signed this. But it's worthless, no value to me whatsoever. The band, I already fucked it up by bending it all the way back. So it's basically just ruined. It, these are just two ruined headphones. Now let me talk to you two about the, or let me talk about these two about the audio quality. This sucks. This is terrible. This is disgusting. It, 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 I was instantly disappointed. And when I say instantly, I mean, listen to it for five seconds. I was like, wow, what a genuine waste. These are 40 fucking dollars. And it's a waste of money. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not recommend these at all. They're not really comfortable fitting. Yeah, they are good for like road trips. But you spend $40 for some headphones. Get the extra. There's just better headphones. I mean, even the Uproxx sound better than these. And they're cheaper too. It's just really sad. But they are compact friendly. This is came with a regular case, the Hesh 2.0, and basically comes with nothing special. But this is a detachable cable. It came with a detachable cable, which is pretty surprising considering it was half of what the navigators cost. But audio quality wise for both of them, I thought the Hesh was just bad. I was more expecting more hip hop bass heavy since it being an over the ear slash on ear, but I didn't get any of the things that I wanted. Good thing School Candy does supply a lifetime warranty. I will not have these headphones re. I don't know. I just won't go through that six to four or four to six weeks mess of like just trying to get it shipped to School Candy and then giving me credits and all that. These are just two headphones that I really just don't recommend at all. Combined, this is ninety dollars. For ninety dollars, pitch in the pitch in the extra ten bucks for the Skull Candy navigators. And look at the Skull Candy navigators. They're a lot more better looking, a lot better sounding. Comes with a control talk, and it's just all around better buy. I was happy with that, but this pissed me off. These didn't give me the sound I wanted. Ear cups fell right off. Couldn't figure out how to get that back off. Uh, and the cord ripped right out within one week of use. So those are two terrible headphones from Skull Candy that I do not recommend. Alright guys, I'm out.